Hello, this is Samia from Invest Excel. I'd like to spend a few minutes presenting a neat little Excel add-on called Market Excel S. It's developed by a company called Technitia and it's essentially a tool for downloading financial information from Yahoo Finance straight into an Excel cell. When you install the software, you get an additional tab here which provides a number of key functions for refreshing the financial data that you've downloaded with the latest values, checking for updates. I would like to stress that the software is updated regularly from the developers and when you actually purchase a license, you get lifetime free updates as well. All of the functions are listed in the Insert Function menu in Excel. So, there are functions for extracting key financial data for stocks. There are functions for extracting mutual fund prices and functions for extracting option prices as well. And this is a complete list of the functions exposed by Market XLS. So all of these functions essentially just download the appropriate financial data from Yahoo Finance. So let me demonstrate how this actually works. So here on the left hand side I have a number of ticker symbols. These ticker symbols are from a number of exchanges. So there's one from the ASX, one from the London Stock Exchange and a number from the New York Stock Exchange and the Toronto Stock Exchange. So you do get financial data across international exchanges. So, first of all, let's try downloading the stock exchange for this ticker symbol. So, I've just entered in the function, I've supplied the ticker symbol, and if I hit enter, Market XLS connects to Yahoo Finance and downloads the stock exchange for this ticker symbol. So, let's just copy that down here. Now, Market XLS is multi-threaded, so it'll open up multiple calls to Yahoo Finance at the same time. So that means you can download a lot of financial data very quickly. So let's try getting the market capitalization for this ticker. As soon as I hit enter, the data is downloaded into an Excel cell. So let's just copy that down as well. And as you can see, downloading data for many tickers, it's very quick and efficient. So let's just continue on with this. Let's get the EPS estimate for the current year. The PE ratio. the book value per share, and the last trade price. So I've been using this add-in for a long time, well, well at least uh, a few months now, and it's a rock solid add-in. I haven't experienced any system crashes or any slowdowns, so it's programmed pretty efficiently. So you can use this add-in for creating stock screeners, finding the fair value of stocks, screening for say low PEs or specific ranges of the book value per share. But here I'll just calculate the Graham number. So that's equal to the square root of 22.5 times the EPS times the book value per share. And let's just copy that down. So the Graham number provides an upper bound for the fair value of a share. So if the Graham number is larger than the last trade price, that means that uh, the 
stock is fairly valued. However, if the last trade price is larger than the Graham number, that means the stock is overvalued. So you can also download data for mutual fund prices as well. So this is a mutual fund, the City National Rochdale Emerging Markets Fund. This is the ticker symbol, RIMIX. So let's try downloading some financial data for that stock ticker. So let's download the yield. The net assets. As you can see, using this add-in to download financial data is pretty simple. Let's get the previous close. And of course, the year-to-date return. So I can imagine if you invest in many mutual funds, you could assemble all of their tickers into a column in Excel and continuously mo monitor the yield, the close prices and the year to date return. And that would enable you to adjust your future investing decisions. Well, this has been a very quick overview of Market XLS. It's an add-in that I enjoy using. And if you do decide to purchase the add-in, I'm sure you'll find a lot of value in it as well. Thank you for listening.